Let's talk about API hubs or API platforms uh, for a minute, shall we? A uh, minute or two, perhaps, right? So if you're an API provider and you're looking uh, to publish APIs, uh, there's going to be a number of questions you have in mind. We had a uh, number of questions in mind uh, a year ago. Uh, we still have plenty of questions, but we made, uh, you know, given the fact that we have like several APIs in production right now as we speak, uh, some of those questions, uh, I have to say, have been answered along the way, right? So uh, when you look up, uh, when you, you know, you build these APIs, you're looking to see, okay, you want to publish the API, you want to maybe monetize on those APIs, right? And you have other dependencies. Now, there's a number of uh, uh, providers out there, other providers, like, you know, companies that are in this business. Uh, they all do things ever so slightly differently. Uh, each of them has their strengths and weaknesses. So definitely do uh, your due diligence uh, before you, you know, by due diligence, I just don't mean read and, you know, not the theory part, right? Not something we believe at Snowball, right? Theory just doesn't cut it for us. Check it out, right? Spend spend a session, just like our sessions, like four hours. That's what everything that we do is, is usually, uh, you know, spoken in terms of in multiples of sessions at the most, right? So four hours is a session that needs to produce something of some value, whatever that value is that you predefine. So let's say you, uh, we actually are on AWS Marketplace. Um, so you can go to aws.snowball.com uh, to check out our APIs, right? And then subscribe to them. We have also published our APIs on multiple hubs. One of them is a blobber, blobr.snowball.com. You can go subscribe to it there as well. Check out, you know, to pick up a free trial and then see how it goes. Um, we also have, let's say, Open API Hub is another, uh, uh, literally, it's called openapihub.com and it's another API hub. Uh, Kong is one, but Kong is not exactly a hub. Uh, Kong is actually, uh, I don't know what they actually, Kong is like an API gateway. Uh, so use that. They probably have some support for monetization by in the integration that they have with other another company, uh, I believe. Uh, you should check it out. But they are not exactly, at least they don't sell themselves as a hub because probably that's 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 their, their value add is different. Like what you can actually do or get done on Blobber is different from what you can expect to get done or get done on, on Kong, for instance, right? Similarly, APIable is another product uh, which is in this space uh, but they have they provide a slightly different value in terms of uh, if i if i'm more or less accurate in terms of their connectivity like if you have to connect to backend systems on aws and, and stuff like that or to create these developer portals uh, i believe you could leverage like apiable for instance right so they they have a niche and that they work serve to uh, you know work to serve that particular space now there is going to be some element of overlap potentially between all of these providers like open api hub api bill uh, kong and uh, blobber and so on and so forth right uh, but they are going to have those the, uh, have some differences as well because that's going to be their value add right you have to figure out what your core problem is and see uh, whether one of the providers you know one of these companies helps solve all of your problems and i mean that would be a silver bullet but it's it's unlikely right if you've uh, you know uh, the more gray hairs you have uh, the, the more you accept that that is going to likely be the case. So you're going to have to pick and choose and have use a combination of these prior, these platforms. But with that said, there's still going to be a core uh, platform, like a core provider. Who do you actually truly depend upon? If hell broke loose ev all, uh, every other place, who do you depend on, right? For us, hands down, it's AWS, right? AWS is, you know, Amazon, I mean, uh, they own like, what, one third of the market share from a cloud standpoint. Um, so our gateways on AWS, our market, we are on AWS marketplace, we leverage AWS quite heavily. So that is our go-to place. But we also create, publish ourselves and other hubs because it's convenient for people, for consumers and customers to, to have these options because they might be using one of these other platforms, right? Like Blobber, for instance, is based out of Europe and, and, and they are probably more recognized as a company, I want to say, maybe in that part of the world than in the US. So if you are a, a Europe a company based out of Europe, uh, you probably maybe the, their uh, name resonates with you better. Similarly, I want to say API bill is probably also located uh, in in Europe, right? Um, so whereas you know Kong, I, I want to probably I'm I'm believe, I believe it's headquartered like in the US and uh, on the West Coast or something. So so these this makes a difference. Uh, similarly, Open API Hub is, is in South Asia or Southeast Asia. So even if you're doing the same thing, like for us, it's it's, it's the same spec, right? We create spec for each uh, Open API spec for each of our APIs. But we have to take the pain to publish them on multiple hubs because different parts of the world, different regions are more comfortable, more, uh, you know, 
used to there's name recognition for some of these platforms um, so you you could as a smaller company say i will only do it on one place uh, but if you're ambitious and if you're growing uh, like we are you, you're going to have to actually take the pain to and effort to publish it on more than one platform right you have one core platform and then you pick the others so take a look at all of these these companies that i mentioned right uh, they all provide different value at uh, and you know you would be better served by you know just verifying testing them out again i mean uh, other than snowpal i mean i'm not working for anybody. i don't get a sales commission so i'm just telling them sharing the, these companies because they are in the space of what you know I've, I've run into them i know people who work in these places uh and you know and they're good uh, committed companies right and folks are working at these places so uh, you want to just give a shout out to people in your space and and uh, uh, i want to say it's entirely selfless maybe to a large extent but i do deep down hope you know they also give a shout out to us right i'm just kidding yeah um so i will probably do videos on specifically about each of these platforms you know just to see what uh, share what my take is uh, but i want to say that uh, just the first week of you trying to you know trying to absorb this when you're getting started with apis and publishing apis or whatever uh, just get a good sense of what this is because in a year ago my mind was you know uh, you know there there were it was muddied waters right not as much anymore not to say that it's crystal clear like a clear soup uh, but it's it's getting there uh, trying to find where we can find value what the pricing structure looks like uh, what is more expensive what is affordable you know and which of these platforms you trust enough so you, you know that they're going to scale along with you growing and you scaling right it's not a question of hey they do the job today and and it works for you it's also the future right you expect them to be in business doing this sort of thing 6 months down the road 6 years down the road right i mean who can predict that far down but you make your best guess you you take a look at how it how things function and if that co- if the if the look and feel the behavior the functionally resonates with you then it's 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 certainly worth a shot right i mean that's about it uh, thank you